this little video, we're going to be having a look at how to use algebra tiles. Okay, so our algebra tiles are these here. Okay, you can see they're double sided. We've got a red and a blue side for our large ones. We've got a red and a green side for our neck size. And then we've got a red and a kind of yellowy type colour for the other side of our small ones. Okay, and the way we use these, okay, are we say that our big ones okay, are x squared, I have to just put them around the other order, you'll see why in a second. Okay, these long ones we're just going to call x's, right, and these little ones we're going to call 1. Okay, but, as you can see, we've got our two colours, so what makes our red side different to our blue side? Okay, well, what we're going to say is that our red side is negative x squared. And our red side for this one is negative x, and our red side for this one is negative 1. Okay. Now, you'll also note, okay, if we have a look here, that these are actually the same length. Okay. And that our little squares okay, are the same width as these long ones. Okay. And that allows us, that's deliberate, because that allows us to do a lot of work using our algebra tiles. So, for example, okay, what this means is for our x squared, that both these sides are x. Okay, we can think of it like this, they match up. So we've got our x and our x. Okay, so these side lengths are x and x. Okay, to find the area, then we say, well, we've got x times x, which equals x squared. Okay. Now, however, what I can do so I can flip one of these over, okay? And now this one is our red version, so it's negative x. Okay, well that means we're gonna have negative x times x. Okay, well we know our x times our x is x squared, but from our work on directed number, we've got a negative number times by a positive number will actually give us a negative answer. Okay, so I answer with that would be negative x squared. Okay? If I flip this one over as well, okay, now they're both negative. Okay? So this time we've got negative x times negative x. Okay? We know x times x is our x squared. Okay? And our negative times a negative okay, from our work on directed number, we also know it gives us a positive. Okay? So this is our first little just introduction in how our um, algebra tiles work. Now the thing that we need to remember though as well, okay, okay, our last little bit here, okay, is that although I can sort of match up the size of our big square with these little ones, okay, this is not the same as that. Okay, so we've got our x times our x, which we said this was x squared, okay, and each one of these was x, and you could say, well, we've got five of them, so you'd say that was 5x. Well, that's not the same as this, okay? And in the same way, okay, we can't say that a line of these little ones, okay, is the same as that. We can't say that they're the same, okay, because they're not. Okay, so we just need to be careful there. Okay. Otherwise, that's our introduction to using algebra tiles done.